Let's take our feet wide. Now this might seem a little strange because um, in Warrior II, we do not swing our hips. However, it's a great way to get it to the inner thigh stretch that we want to feel in Warrior II. So with your hands on your hips, um, let's just say we'll swing your hips to your right side. Now as you're swinging your hips to your right, hopefully in your left inner thigh you start to feel a stretch. Push a little bit, just a little bit more with your left hand to see if you get that stretch on your left inner thigh. This, your left leg, should more or less be what your rear leg feels like in Warrior Two, right? So that rear leg is straight. We want to feel a little inner thigh stretch on the rear leg in Warrior Two. This is what it should feel like. Just hold and breathe. Four seconds in, four seconds out. Using your hand just a little bit. You, you may not need to, by the way. If you have, um, if you swung your hips to the right and you already feel a stretch, you're good. Don't move. But if you need to, you know, get a little more sensory input, push a little bit with your left hand. Just a tiny little bit. Back to center. Exhale. Swing your hips to your left. So now that inside seam on your right leg, hopefully you start to feel a stretch there. And just breathing, nice and easy. This is what the rear leg in Warrior Two should feel like, more or less. You want to feel a slight stretch on that inside seam of the leg. Now also, if you want to, while you're stretching here, tuck your pelvis under, use your Kegel contractions, try to combine the gluteal bridge with the uh, lateral shift of the hips, and you get a completely different stretch. Hopefully in the same space, but you feel things a little differently. One more inhale, one more exhale, back to center. Toe heel your feet together, <clears throat> and we're going to try what's called a sumo squat or a plie squat. Again, this is helping for the inner thighs, but it's also helping just really to get your femur bones moving around, uh, but in a muscular way. You want to use your muscles to pull on the bones to get them into position, if it's possible. Take your feet a little bit wider than shoulder width and turn your feet out. Okay. This is one of the very few times you'll ever hear that at, at Winter Garden Yoga. Now we inhale, get tall. As you exhale, start to bend your knees and see if you can sort of squat down. Now only go so far as you can. So, uh, you know, if you do like an eighth of a squat, that's fine. We're just trying to keep the knee more or less over the ankle bone. If you've got the ability to go lower, that's fine. Go as low as you can comfortably. You might need to shimmy and shuffle your toes around. I'm putting my hands on my knees just for a little bit of support. But also, Jedi secret, I'm kind of using my hands to pull my hips apart. So just a tiny, tiny, tiny little rocking motion and really physically like trying to telescope my knees out and you'll start to feel some tugging on your inner thigh. Just make sure everything's okay. Nothing should hurt. It may not feel super comfortable. <laughs> and there's a difference. You know, we're not trying to be uh, relaxing in a spa right now. We're trying to mobilize our hips so we get the best um, warrior two ever. Steady breathing. Try to do the posterior pelvic tilt. One more inhale. Exhale, stand up. Now that is more or less what the front leg should feel like. 